All right, guys, so today we're gonna go bid a new subdivision. And I'll bet you that's that could be the guy waiting for us right here. Uh, if it is, we'll just stop recording. And then, I don't know if it is or not. Nope, that's somebody just sitting there. That house number, 4128. So this is a new subdivision in here that we're gonna bid today. And I will meet, I'm gonna meet with this gentleman and then uh, then we'll go from there and then I'll walk you guys around the property. So. All right, so we just got done meeting with uh, one of the guys on the board. And in this particular instance, it's not gonna be all the homes in this community because I guess everybody does their own, but there is a pond down here um, that we're gonna go over and have a look at. I'll show you guys what they want done there. And then it's basically, you're dealing with the common areas of this subdivision, all right? This would be an easy one to bid. So let's go have a look at the pond and I'll kind of show you guys how we bid that. So this pond, whoa, what the hell was that? You see that? What the hell was that? You catch that? Maybe. Dang, I wonder what that is. Maybe some turtle. Turtle. I'm sure it is. Up here selling themselves. Alright. Alright, so anyway. Um, so basically this area up and through here, everything that you can see that's been mowed in the past and up here. So you can see where they haven't mowed it. Right in through here. It's relatively steep on this thing. So what I'm gonna do, you're basically selling time when you do this stuff. So when I look at this, I'm like, okay, how much time is this gonna take us to do? So I think if you just put one guy on this or two guys, put one guy on a mower and one guy on a trimmer uh, to get down here and get what he can't get, especially when it gets to be the rainy season, you can see how far up this water comes. It comes way up here. So, then that's going to leave you that strip right in there. But it's still a lot of weed whacking to go all the way around this thing. Come down here, Mike, and shine down there and kind of show them what we're dealing with here. So these areas in here, you can see the water, like I say, when it starts to rain every day, the water is going to come up to this level here. So, but meanwhile, you don't even want to get down here with the mower. So all this stuff, a swath about this big is just going to be hand trimmed all the way around this thing and you got trees to trim around so you take it pay attention to those too because it may not seem like much but it's a lot when there's 50 of them you know which is what there is here there's probably i don't know 30 of them on that side probably so 25 30 whatever all right well i've seen this let's go look at something else so all right so after calculating what i think the pond's going to be I would guess that our guys could get that done in two hours. Uh, so I'm going to bill it at two hours for that. Now we're going to go up front and we're going to take a look at uh, the common grounds at the entrance. All right, now we're up at the front and let's take a look at the common areas up here. So a couple things to look at here is the shrubs and anything that's going to, I'm sure they're going to want the weeds and whatnot taken care of. And and also the front the hedges and the palms by the front. So palms got to be done twice a year, I believe. In this common area, so this is going to be here. You know, uh, getting your mowers, maybe some hand trimming in here. It basically ends at that wall right there. So. I would say there's a lot of hand trimming because it gets pretty steep down in this ditch down in here. And I'll bet when you get water down there, she's going to hold because this is, this is Palm Bay. Palm Bay never dries out. This place always holds water. So I'm going to get a count of the palm trees and the shrubs and give me an idea what that'll be. So, and then for mowing wise, they can do this in... They have this side and that side, and 
I would say to mow it. Now they're going to have to edge on all these beds all the way. And you got a sidewalk. So you're going to run down here with an edger. You're going to come back down this sidewalk. Then they're going to grab this sidewalk. Go back up that way. Then they got to come out by the road. And they got to edge along the road. So there's a lot of edging here. There's a lot of stuff to edge around. So let me get a count of these palms. See how many of those we got to do. And these. I'll count these on the way back too. One of the one of the tricks that we're going to use in here, as long as you keep these trimmed off, um, they were talking about trimming them off quarterly, which I'm going to try and sell them on monthly if I can. But because if you can, it's nice because you can cut these things. You know, when you only got to take off just a little bit of them, you can rake this stuff right out here and mulch it up with your mower so you don't have to haul anything away. That'll save you. here <coughs> it's gonna be the same thing so they're gonna want these all taken care of these are what I hate these things look at the pickers on these guys come in here and get a shot of this everybody thinks that these palm trees are so freaking cool look at the size of these pickers look at these things you talk about stabbers man them things will make you bleed in a heartbeat man you know what people think why people think those are so cool those things are just freaking nasty all right, so now we'll treat this just like a palm tree because it's bigger. It's going to take more time to do with the ladder and whatnot. So I'm going to put one, two, three. Four. I'm going to go with seven more palms here. Seven. So shrub-wise, it's not very much there at all. However, I'm sure they're going to want spray, and I'm going to put spray in here. He didn't mention spray, but I know they're going to want it to keep the uh, keep the weeds down in these beds. So now let's look at these this side. It's probably gonna be very similar to the other side. What do you suppose those trees are? Big models. Are they? Huh. Ugly. I mean, it looks like a big old dead tree with just some new developments coming off of it.
should go ahead and throw a mulch count in there too for him. That guy mentioned mulch? <clears throat> I didn't hear him mention it, but it's possible. Um, I had a couple of shrubs on the way back out. So. So I want to show you guys something about these shrubs, okay? I just did a count of like 20 of them right here. And when they become a hedgerow like this, it's, it's hard for you to look at the bottoms and see where they're all at. So where I'm charging five bucks a shrub, let's say, to trim these things up, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. That to me is 12 shrubs right there. Okay, so 65 shrubs now they mentioned back behind that so we got to find a way to get back behind that back fence I wonder how we're gonna okay do so what they want is from behind this fence the first four houses to the tree line I don't know what they got going on in here but all of this I'm sure you're gonna have all the time when you bid these things you're gonna have palm fronds and shit all kinds of debris from this tree line is gonna be laying in this lawn every time you get here every time you come you're gonna have to stop the mower throw stuff out of your way you know ten times before you get to the end so here I'm just gonna say half an hour so So I would say between doing this, the two front lawns with all that edging, then that pond, I would say you're gonna have to put two guys in here for four hours, you should be able to get all that done. So that's how we're gonna bid this, two guys for four hours. Okay guys, well, back in the office and went out, looked at the subdivision. When the guy first called with the subdivision, he acted like it was going to be all 30 houses and whatnot, but turned out when I got there that it's basically just going to be all the, the common ground areas, which is fine. You know, it's a good opportunity, even if you get the common ground areas, because at that point you can go in and you can go after everything else. So I know there's like 30 properties on that street, so you can bet your butt as soon as we get involved, as soon as we're doing the common areas, we are going to be just hammering that thing constantly with our flyers so that we can get in there and own it. So anyway, uh, basically we gave them a, a, just came up with our price for the mowing, what it was going to be. And, uh, you know, what, you know, basically we just look at $45 an hour labor rate on those things, uh, per man. And, uh, then we have some costs for materials, you know, like your, your mowers and such not in there. So you have those things all added in. Um, we came up with the tree price for them, the mowing price. We came up with the, uh, we went quarterly fertilization, which he really didn't ask for, but we were shooting for it anyway. We, he also didn't mention about uh, spraying for weeds in the beds, but we included that in our price as well, uh, just to be thorough with things as an option for him basically. And uh, so the tree trimming, the shrub trimming, all of that's in there. So basically back here at the office, just typing it up, sending it over. So I guess to begin with, when these things come in, 
this guy found us, so that's good. That's a hot lead. You know, he saw us on the internet, found us because of our website, and he contacts us. So the cool thing about websites, you guys, and you got to remember this. You got to remember this. I, you know, I stress them a lot about the websites. The websites can make you look like you're way bigger than what you are. They, that guy didn't know if I had 15 trucks or if I had one. He, he had no idea of knowing. He saw a great website. He looked at everything we had on there, liked what he saw. When we got out to see him, he says, hey, I got to get three quotes all together. He said, but as far as I'm concerned, I'd like to go with you guys. So hopefully your prices will be right there in the ballpark somewhere. He said that we don't go with the cheapest all the time. And, uh, you know, he just likes us. He likes our website. He was This guy was sold before we even got there on us as a company. He likes us, you know. So I joked around with the guy and became friendly with him. Um, so they like that, you know. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll get the job. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to wrap this up, guys. But that's just, uh, you know, one opportunity right there where a subdivision reaches out and finds us. And uh, we were able to bid on it and hopefully we'll get it. So we'll see what happens. George Packer, Family Lawn and Landscape. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Always leave me your comments down below as I try to get back to everybody. See ya.